lot better a lot lot better than what it is today okay let's open the house to questions then raise your hand please gentlemen migrasha which sector would you advise us to uh, bet on because uh, we have seen a uh, lot of uh, disturbances in um, uh, technology i mean telecom because of the scams and then oil industry again uh, there's a lot of buzz that it might go down and stuff so which one would you advise us to go on for next one year or so well um, I'll answer this question in two parts. One is um, there's one thing which is outperformance, which institutional investors look at, and uh, the other is basically uh, kind of you know absolute returns and the value-oriented approach which individual investors look at. My sense is that uh, from a very uh, short to medium-term time frame, uh, say over the next six to nine months, I think uh, the private sector banks. and uh, the consumer companies still have a very good chance to basically uh, outperform though i would not agree with the valuations for a lot of these companies uh, particularly in the consumer space uh, my view is that i uh, that the consumer space is getting overvalued it's getting terribly overpriced uh, and at these valuations there's really uh, very limited absolute returns you can make but it can still outperform because liquidity could still go into this sector private sector banks i think is a very interesting area because there's a very large gap between the leaders uh, and really the tier 2 tier 3 regional private sector banks so we are in a situation where the top private sector banks are trading at uh, north of three times price to book all the top two or three or four private sector banks uh, whereas the smaller private sector banks are trading between 1 to 1 and 1/2 times price to book and i think that there's a huge valuation disparity uh, between the two Uh, a lot of the private sector banks have invested significantly in people in resources and technology they have been adding a lot of branches over the last several years and uh, therefore they have a lot of distribution points uh, which is extremely good for them so my sense is that uh, you know from an individual stock picking point of view private sector banks uh, can be a good bet what's your view on the metals by coming 2 3 months because yeah, i am I I would be very cautious on metals. Um, I clearly Which believe that. Which one do you own? Uh, Sterling, Hindalco, JSW, Moore. Yeah, I, I clearly believe oh, that. Yeah, I clearly believe that there is there is a a global slowdown. Uh, a lot of of course economists and experts are expecting uh, the US to pick up from the second half. But as I said, that the US can very well pick up. But uh, the big driver of commodities is China, and uh, really not the US. and if the china if china were to have a meaningful slowdown uh, demand for commodities could clearly kind of uh, taper off and if that were to happen uh, the actual prices of metals could basically come off and in that kind of an environment it is unlikely that uh, you know uh, most of these metal companies could do uh, very well uh, you mentioned about one or two companies and one of them of course has certain uh, issues in terms of that uh, they have certain problems in terms of environmental clear clearances and things of that kind so of course if those issues get addressed for those respective companies then of course you could see some kind of spike in their stock prices but fundamentally uh, i'd be extremely cautious on the metal company i'm surprised there aren't more questions on technology uh, coming from bangalore and you track tech nivesh what about mid cap tech some numbers have been pretty good this quarter yes some of the numbers uh, have been uh, very good but the reality we've seen is that uh, uh one important trend over the last uh, several years that i have looked at the technology space is that uh out of hundreds of small technology companies there have hardly been one or two technology companies which have been able to break that glass ceiling and go from being a medium sized company to a large sized company uh there have been i can't think of too many of them the top 3 or 4 the pecking order has by and large remained the same uh and therefore that valuation differential between the large caps and the mid cap technology companies um has always remained and by and large most of the mid cap uh, it companies have remained at about 50% discount uh to the larger names but what can be very interesting in this kind of a space uh, from a you know an individual investment point of view is to look out for some of these very niche uh, specialized technology companies uh so you have uh, for example on one hand you have an oracle which is basically a a, a big name in the space uh, which is focused on creating technology products for the bfsi space and then you have a small company like nucleus software uh which basically again is an exceptionally well managed company uh it has a lot of 
cash in its books. So it's a, it's a net cash company, generates free cash flows, uh, has grown pretty well earlier on. Of course, the last few years they have faced some certain headwinds and that's because the overall spending in the global BFSI space or the global banking space has uh, not kept pace as compared to what it was earlier. But these are some of the niches and, and I, I believe the stock is probably halved or it's down 30, 40, 50 percent from its highs uh, over the last one year. So you could basically pick some of these. Uh, if you if you want to take a lot more risk, of course, keep in mind that when you pick up an IT products company, your risk levels are significantly higher compared to an IT services company. And my view would be that over the next three to six months, probably the large cap or the mega cap IT companies would probably give you a much better entry opportunity compared to a very normal mid cap IT services company. Thank you very much, Nilesh. Ladies and gentlemen, warm round of applause for Nilesh. There's been lots of stock ideas that we've discussed today. Thank you very much.